Hello to everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a little bread baking. I brewed a little, um, oh, let me show you my new picture. I got this at the thrift store. I really, really like it. Okay, I brewed up a little green tea ginger. This is really good. I, I brew up about two cups. I, I drink maybe two cups a day, if that. But if I don't drink it, look what a pretty tea it is. If I don't drink it, I just keep it in the refrigerator and, and I drink it iced tea. So what I did was I grated raw sugar. If you guys get a chance to get some, it's not too expensive. It's about $1.49. Uh, I buy it at Sprouts at 99 cent store. So uh, usually tea is sugar and milk. Not cream like coffee. So I'll have not cream like coffee. No, no, no. Milk. Tea and milk. Or uh, lemon and sugar. Or uh, macadamia nut coffee creamer. So I have um, powdered milk. So now let me taste this. It's probably going to taste really, really good. Oh, see my little decorative stones? Um, I abuse these a little bit, but I, let me show you. So these are two little decorative stones I bought. Look how cute. And then, you know, I bought a couple shells, cute shells, at the thrift store. And, you know, a couple fake orchids. Uh, you know, I have a fly problem. The last thing I need is plants to attract them. Not at this time. Maybe at a future date. So, see how I have my little stones very cute? This is rule two. Enjoy life. It's very easy to do once you get the hang of it. Okay, so now I want to start doing some videos. What's going on in my house? And there's a reason for that. Because um, I think the best way to really get people doing things is, is when you do it, they see you do it. Over and over. I never got sick and tired of seeing my grandmother bake the bread. And my aunt's. And, and I'm old, old enough to be a grandmother, of course. Okay, so uh, what I did was I heated one and one quarter cup warm water. And uh, one tablespoon raw sugar. You could use honey or white sugar. And uh, this recipe calls for only four ingredients. Um, it calls for uh, yeast, flour, water, and, and you've got to have some kind of sugar. I add salt. I stockpile yeast. This is one of the things uh, that gives a person some kind of idea how to do the stockpile in a way that is really going to save you money and, and make you live better. Okay, I want to make wheat bread again. So I'm just going to alternate uh, wheat. Let's see if I can easily find my screen. I'll sift my flour if I can. Ah, there we go. You don't really have to sift flour for bread, but... Why not? If you have a little screen, it's easier than those things you sh sift, flour sifters. And then, you know, I bought this, um, this flour at Walmart. And um, I'm thinking, I'm, I still haven't decided what kind of, I like to keep about 10 pounds of flour. I still haven't decided what kind of uh, flour for the white flour. I'm ha very happy with this uh, wheat flour. I I'm still maybe going to buy um, gold metal premium. I haven't decided. We'll see. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure my bread is nutritious. I want to make sure my I know what's in my bread. 
so that when I eat my meat and cheese sandwiches, you know, I know I have some, uh, I saw they had, um, I was at Sprouts, and they have uh, yeast, you know, dry yeast. I might be adding some of that. I might be adding a few seeds to my bread. In fact, if I can locate some easily, I just happen to have some, uh, a lot of nuts. Uh, one thing that's very important, you don't want to... Uh, Remember the cavemen? Well, it was the cave women. The hunters. Ah, here they are. The hunters and the gatherers. So I have sunflower seeds. So any kind of seeds. I'm going to start adding a few seeds. I didn't plan on it. It just came to me. Okay, so that's going to up my nutrition. You could add uh, protein powder. You could add whatever you have. You could add some raisins. Uh, you know, in the day, a long, long time ago, when I was a young hairdresser, we used to go to people's houses. Now, you know, you are in strange people's houses. Are you kidding me? But we would go to the houses. And women used to get uh, sh shampoo sets every week. And, and they would make... Uh, I had one customer, Marion. She's passed on now. But she would make uh, she would make a raisin bread. I think it was just bread, extra tasty bread with raisins in it. I still have never been able to duplicate her bread recipe. I have tried. So okay, so today I have the addition of a few nuts. So hey, that's gonna be good. And so you know. I'm going to need this bread right in the bowl. I don't want to mess because I am going to be making uh, bread. Homemade bread is very cheap and very easy to make. Uh, I add the uh, flour little by little by little because I like kind of a soft dough. And this is as easy as it is. My dough is still a little bit too wet, but that's okay. I'll just add a little bit more flour as I go. Uh, also, I wanted to mention, I use regular re yeast, and I just rise my bread uh, one time. And, you know, I bought yeast at um, 99 cent only, and I had no problems with that yeast. It made great bread. I think I got about four or five of those. You know, you can go to uh, Smart and Final and buy some really, really good uh yeast for like six dollars I mean six dollars and 98 cents and, and enough to last you for a year that's how much you can get for six seven dollars uh, I bought now my my bread is already you know when I bread I um, I'm kneading my bread it's already springing up you know when I push it down see how it's springing up so you know it's gonna be a successful loaf of bread Okay, so I, I'm going to make a loaf of bread. I'm going to shape it. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish kneading it. I'm going to shape it into a loaf. And the reason I need bread is because one of the followers said, you know, I made some sandwiches. How about egg and lunch meat? And I thought, yeah, that sounds good with a little cheese that I stockpiled on top. I bought this cheese at Grocery Outlet yesterday. So I'm going to have a nice little, this is turkey meat with egg and cheese sandwich on my homemade bread. Okay, now, um, oh, here's the yeast I bought for my bread. I just rise the bread one time. Okay. If you guys saw on my Instagram at my son's house, they made banana cream pie. And I bought these for a dollar, and I had these in the stockpile. I buy them when they're cheap. So I'll be making a banana cream pie. Okay, tonight for dinner, I, I got this out of my stockpile. I bought this at Grocery Outlet for 79 cents. And so what I have is I bought these um, salami ends last week it was pepperoni i ate two pounds of pepperoni last week and i'm no worse for the wear 
These are good too. I bought these cheap at Grocery Outlet. You could cut these up. And then I have a half a can of peas. So that's what I'll have for dinner. And uh, these are good. If you can get these cheap, uh, these are really good. You can put ham. You can put hamburger in these kind of things. You can put hot dogs, any kind of meat. And so then I will use up my, my evaporated milk. Oh, I have some brown sugar in there. So, okay, you guys. I'll finish kneading the bread. And, oh, I'm just going to use my Crisco. Well, it's not Crisco. It is the Walmart brand. And this is a nice thing to stockpile. Last night I fried my meatballs in it. And so I will just grease my pan and then I'll turn my bread dough over a time or two. And okay, I will be back with some um, lunch meat, cheese, and egg sandwiches. God bless you all.